Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Dawn with So Essential Oils, and you are here watching a webinar, the Zoom webinar on Sweet 16 oils. Sweet 16, uh, what that means is they're oils that are priced $16 wholesale or less. And what that means in reality is uh, about four cents a drop, between four and six cents per drop, and a drop is a dose. So really, really economical. I have 13 oils to cover today, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them. I'm going to tell you how they can be used. I'm going to give you the emotional benefits first, and then I'm going to give you the physical benefits of the oil. And uh, if we have time, I've got a couple of bonus ones to add in at the end. So essential oils are a volatile aromatic compound, and that means that they evaporate, basically. They are so, so microscopic that they can even pass through the blood-brain barrier. So they can really have a very impactful uh, effect on our health. And they can be used three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. Aromatically means you are gonna breathe it in, either through a diffuser or just opening the bottle and taking a big sniff. Topically means putting it on your skin, and internally means ingesting it, either using it in food or drinking it in some water or juice or a smoothie, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start the slideshow. And we are start, here we go. We are starting with rosemary. I can move that out of the way a little bit. We're starting with rosemary. Rosemary can be used all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. It is the oil of knowledge and transition. The Positive properties from an emotional standpoint are mental clarity, knowledgeable, teachable, inspired, open to new experiences, and confident during times of great change. So if you have any big transitions in your life that you're having difficulty with, rosemary is the oil you want to go to to help you work through those. Uh, the physical properties or physical wellness, memory, especially with lemon, which is the uh, oil of focus. We're going to talk about that one later. It's great for respiratory health. It's great for adrenal support. And if you're feeling particularly tired, using rosemary and basil together can help with fatigue. And if you have ongoing fatigue, that is often a sign of adrenal uh, lagging. So you, you need to boost up your adrenal support there. It's great for tired and stiff muscles. And of course you can cook with it. This is an herb and you can use this in your cooking in place of the dried rosemary. Okay, next up we've got cedar wood. This one can be used topically or aromatically. And this one is really near and dear to my heart because this is the oil that introduced me to doTERRA. It's the oil of community. Positive properties are connected, belonging, supported, help with creating social bonds, neighborly, and having joy in relationships. Physically, this is excellent for your skin structure. So if you have um, complexion issues, cedar wood is a great oil to either um, apply with some coconut oil or add to your moisturizer or to your cleanser. It can help clear sinus congestion. It's good for your urinary tract. It's an insect repellent. And it also helps with fight or flight, and that was why it was recommended to me. I had, um, I have a son with very significant special needs and he was having meltdowns regularly, at, at that point not daily anymore, but regularly. And I was sent a little tiny bottle of cedar wood and told to put a drop on the back of his neck. And well, he had this huge meltdown, threw himself on the floor, crying, screaming, thrashing, uh, miserable, heartbreaking. I couldn't get near him safely. And I picked up that bottle of cedarwood and did not even get a full drop on my fingertip and darted in, put it on the back of his neck. And within two minutes, that meltdown was completely gone like it had never, ever happened. And so we use cedarwood all the time, every single day as a preventative now. We use it every morning and every afternoon, sort of in the after school time. And if you are interested in knowing more about some of the protocols that I use with my son, I'd be happy to share that privately with you, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Okay. Next up, we've got cypress. Cypress can be used topically and aromatically. And you see those, this one and the last one were tree oils. Tree oils are often not for ingestion. Cypress is the oil of motion and flow. Positive properties include being flexible, trusting, flowing with life, adaptable, and having emotional growth. 
And for the physical wellness, it's fantastic for supporting the circulatory system, anything that has to do with blood flow, including heavy periods. And so if you know someone um, who suffers from a really heavy period, this can be a good one to apply topically to the abdomen. And I would start that during the cycle and I would probably continue it sort of uh, regularly through the next month. It can also help with muscle spasms and that can help with coughing and it can, my house phone's ringing in another room. Uh, it can also help with, um, so with coughing and then also with bladder spasms. So I know quite a few pregnant women who use this in the evening so that they didn't have to get up a million times in the middle of the night, okay? But it also works on kids. So if you have kids that um, are having nighttime wetness issues, this is a great one. And I do have a story that I can share privately, um, a firsthand experience with this, but it's not one that I will publicly discuss. So if you want to know more about that, message me um, in some way, and I'm happy to share that information with you because it's a, it's a good, worthwhile story. Next up, Terra Shield. This is one of two blends we're gonna talk about today. And this has, um, this is a bug repellent. That is the, the basic use for this. This is for aromatic and topical use. It's the oil of shielding. And the positive properties are courage, standing up for yourself, self-contained, safe, and having strong boundaries. It will keep you from absorbing other people's emotions. So if you're overly empathic, this will help where if you're around a worrier and suddenly you're worrying or around someone who has a lot of drama or anger in their life and you find yourself absorbing their emotions, you can spray this on yourself and it will sort of make this force field that their emotions will not get through to you. It is an insect repellent. It works on people. It works on pets and it works in your garden too. So you can spray your vegetables with this. And it will not, um, even though it's an insect repellent, it will not affect the, um, it only affects the bad ones. It's only the ones that you don't want around. It doesn't affect the pollinators. So you can still have a really successful garden and use this. Okay, you can also add some coconut oil or olive oil to it and use it as a furniture polish because it does have some really strong um, wood oil blends in there that make great furniture polish too. It smells good. It doesn't feel like poison. It doesn't smell like poison. Um, it works really, really well. Not that we really need it right now because we're not in that season, but for future reference. Citrus Bliss, this is the other topical, uh, the other blend that we're gonna talk about tonight. This can be used topically and aromatically. Honestly, there's nothing in here that you cannot ingest, but this is a mood management oil. And the best way to affect mood is through aromatic use. It's the oil of creativity. Positive properties include feeling invigorated, childlike, creative, motivated, cheerful, self-expression, and spontaneous. One note of safety about essential oils, anything that has citrus in it does uh, require some caution with sun exposure. So if you would just love citrus bliss and you're just gonna drench yourself in it, do not go outside in the sun because you will get sunburned that way. So you need to, um, Put it where the sun don't shine. Uh, that topical photosensitivity only applies to where you are putting the oil topically, only to that spot. So if you slather your legs with it and you're wearing pants, you're not gonna get sunburned on your face. Okay, it's just where you put the oil. So just keep it out of the sun if you're going to use this topically. Physically, it can help with anxious feelings. It makes a fantastic surface cleaner. All of the citrus oils do, and this one is no different. It cleans the air, can work as an air freshener, but it will actually purify the air as well. It's great for immune support. All of the citrus oils are, and some people use it as a perfume or a deodorant, and they just use a straight oil right in their underarms for that. Okay. Wild orange can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. It's the oil of abundance. And positive properties include abundance, humorous, playful, generous, spontaneous, creative, and enjoying life. And for the physical properties, it can help with sleep and it can help with stress. A lot of that has to do with overthinking because if you're an overthinker, wild orange is the right one for you. It sort of will calm a mind and, um, and sort of ease any 
extra worrying that you're doing. It'll ease occasional heartburn, anxious feelings. It's great for focus, especially with peppermint. The two mixed together make a great focus blend. Like all citrus oils, it's really good for detox. You can um, just add a couple of drops to your water every day. It tastes great and it's a really gentle detox and it's uplifting but calming. And of course, you can use this in cooking too. Anytime that you would call for orange zest in your baking, you can substitute orange oil in there too. And next we have another, oops. I thought we had another citrus oil, I'm missing one. Eucalyptus, good thing I had my notes. It's the oil of wellness. This can be used aromatically and topically. Again, it's a tree oil, so you're not gonna ingest this one. But also this has a lot to do with respiratory support and a little bit of common sense involved. So when you are breathing in an oil, that's gonna be the best way for respiratory support, food management and respiratory support. That way you're getting the, the oil right to where it's needed. So as far as the emotional positive properties, being able to heal well, liberated, responsible, and encouraging. Physically, again, respiratory support, easing chest congestion, you can ease sinus pressure and congestion with this, and also it's good for muscle fatigue and soreness. Hey, there's lime. <laughs> Lime can be used all three ways. It can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. It is the oil of the zest for life. Positive properties include courage, feeling emotionally safe, engaged, revitalized, grateful for the gift of life, and determined. Physical properties include ease of respiratory congestion. You can use it as a throat gargle, and since this can be ingested, you can gargle with it and then swallow it. It's great for memory and clarity, and it's a definite mood lifter. Again, you have the sun um, conditions that you need to be careful of sun exposure with this one. This one too, with grapefruit. This is the oil of honoring a body. This can be used topically, aromatically, and internally. Positive properties include respect for the body, meeting physical needs, body acceptance, being nourished, having a healthy relationship with food. Physical properties, it's often used for weight loss. It curbs the appetite, and in part, it's because of the emotional aspect of it. You're saying that you have had your physical needs met, you're nourished, you've, you've eaten, you don't need to snack in between. So they can help with that. And also good for detox, it's delicious. It's actually quite sweet. Um, I was surprised with how sweet this oil is. And because it's sweet, it can help with sugar cravings. It also is good for lymphatic and kidney cleansing, and it's good for adrenal support. So there's your second one to help support healthy adrenals. Lemon. Lemon is the oil of focus, and this is one I mentioned in the beginning when we started with rosemary. Positive properties include focus, energy, being mentally connected, alert, mental clarity, rational, and joyful. For detox, you can use it as a gentle detox just with water, and it's great for also detoxing your lymphatic system and your kidneys. It's good for occasional heartburn. It can ease chest congestion. It's great for stress. All the citrus oils are good for stress because they're mood lifters. It can help with a runny nose. You can just put a drop right over your nose. Again, you're not gonna wanna do that. Um, in the summer if you're going outside. Helps with concentration and focus. It's a degreaser. It's also a de-sticky-er. So if you have something that had a label on it that's still kind of sticky that you're trying to get rid of, um, instead of using something like Goo Gone, which is super toxic and nasty, you can use lemon oil and actually any citrus oil, but lemon's the one that's used most often. Makes a great furniture polish just with some coconut oil or olive oil. It makes a good surface cleaner uh, and an air purifier and also a veggie cleaner. You can put a couple of drops of lemon in a sink full of water and rinse your veggies that way. And get them all clean. Lemon grass is the oil of cleansing. This can be used all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. For the positive properties, it helps with clarity, cleansing, simplicity, discerning, and letting go of past baggage. 
And that can be um, emotional baggage, but also it can be if you're actually doing a, a physical purge in your house where you're cleaning something out, it's great to diffuse lemongrass because it will help you be able to let go of some of that clutter that you're trying to get rid of. Physically, it supports healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels. It supports healthy thyroid function. It's good for bladder support. It's good for digestive issues. It's good for joint issues, specifically connective tissue like tendons and ligaments. And it's a great insect repellent. And of course, you can use it in cooking. So anytime that you would use actual lemongrass in your cooking, you can also use the lemongrass oil. And when I say that you can use these oils internally, I really am only talking about doTERRA oils. I'm not talking about just any essential oil that you would buy anywhere. Um, there are a lot out there that will tell you not to use them topically and not to use them internally, and those oils are not pure because there are reasons um, that something like lemongrass, which should be edible, would not be. So there's some sort of solvent or filler or contaminant contaminant in there that you don't want to be ingesting. So just be careful and mindful and read the labels. Clove. Clove can be used all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. This is a hot oil, and I just want to point out right down here where it says de-dilute for using topically. This is a hot oil, and it will make your um, skin uncomfortable. So be sure that you dilute it. And when you dilute an essential oil, you never dilute it with water. That will not dilute it. You need to dilute it with a vegetable oil. Most people use coconut oil, but you can use any oil that is in your kitchen. So if you have canola oil in there, if you have olive oil in there, if you have grapeseed oil, whatever it is that you normally cook with, that oil will work. Okay. Clove is the oil of boundaries. Positive properties include feeling empowered, clearing boundaries, feeling protected, courageous, independent, capable, proactive, and having personal integrity. It supports liver and brain. It's great for your immune system. This is one of the oils that's in the On Guard Protective Blend. It's great for your circulatory system. It's good for tooth pain, like teething. Again, um, if you're talking about a baby that's teething, you need to really, really dilute this a lot. Okay. Clove is also good for smoking addiction, especially when mixed with black pepper. And it's high, uh, it's one of the highest antioxidants that's in, of all the oils. And this can be, of course, used in your cooking. I use this to make um, mulled cider. Anytime that you would use dried powdered clove, you can use clove oil as a substitute. And fennel. Fennel can be used all three ways. This has a real licorice-y scent and taste to it. So it can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. This is the oil of responsibility. Positive properties include being responsible, in tune with your body, satiated, and maturity. For physical wellness, it can help support digestive issues. It is one of the oils that's in the Digest Zen blend. It can help with nausea, colic, and gas. It's good for menstrual support and PMS, as well as menopausal and premenopausal concerns. For moms who are breastfeeding, fennel can increase your milk supply. It's good for cough and congestion. It can help curb your appetite and it can help with a sweet tooth. So if you're trying to limit sweets for the new year, then this is a good one to go with. And that um, licorice taste is kind of sweet and that will help you keep that under control. I wanna show you some of the, I'm gonna turn off the screen share for a second. Here we go. I wanna show you some of the resources that I use to give you this information. First up is this one probably backwards for you, but it's emotions and essential oils. This is a fantastic resource if you're going to be using oils for emotional purposes. Of course, the doTERRA product guide. This has tons and tons and tons of information in it, and it does tell you how to use the oils inside beyond just using them aromatically, topically, and internally. It does actually give you ideas on how to use them. All right, and then the Essential Life book. This has all manner of amazing things inside, everything from cooking recipes to DIY recipes to 
pretty much any health concern that you could possibly think up, it's in there. All right, and now I'm just looking for my one last note because there are a few more things. I lost it. I just had it. That's okay. Um, there are a few more oils that are in the touch line. Oops, I lost you. There we go. I just had my screen was gone. Um, you could probably still see me. I just couldn't see you. So there are a few more in the touch line that uh, are under $16. And I just wanted to mention those. There is Motivate, which is the encouraging blend. There is the Forgive Touch, which is the renewing blend. And a couple of singles. Them. Okay, breathe comes in a touch blend, and when I say the touch blend, it comes in a roller bottle, so you would really only be using this for topical use. So breathe is under sixteen dollars. Oregano, which is fantastic for immune support, especially if you feel like you've already caught something, you can use that and just roll it on the bottom of your feet. Some people call that pizza feet just because you. <laughs> smell like pizza because it's oregano. Melaleuca, which is tea tree oil in the touch blend. Lavender in the touch blend is under 16, and so is peppermint. I think that was all of them. Super. So I got those all. All right, so this is a New Year, New You event, and what that means is doTERRA has a fantastic, fantastic way that they are offering new members free oils. If you join with any starter set of oils and then pick for next month a 100 point order, and these would make great additions to any starter set, then doTERRA will give you $100 worth of free oils. And we'll also, on top of that, you're going to get your shipping routine to you as points, which can be used to purchase oils. And there are additional points that you can earn through the Lifestyle Rewards program. And Lifestyle Rewards offers you 10 to 30% back. I get 30% back now. And when you add in all the freebies that you can get and the 25% wholesale discount, I end up getting about 58% off retail pricing, which is pretty phenomenal. And that's available to anybody. That's available to any wholesale customer. You don't have to be doing doTERRA as a business at all in order to get all of those goodies for free. I get a lot of free stuff. doTERRA has a very, very generous rewards program because they want us to be healthy and they want you to make it easy to have a healthy lifestyle. Okay. So with that, we've covered everything and I wasn't sure we would get it all done by 7.30, but we did. So I'd like to talk to everybody that does get to a chance to watch this. I will be posting the recording over on the Facebook event page. And then I'll also be posting it in my So Essential Oils group. It'll be a YouTube video, video so it will be shareable. Okay. I do want to talk to everybody that uh, does get a chance to watch this because I would like to um, make sure that you're getting what you need and be able to help you find the best oils for your own personal wellness. Okay, with that, I'm gonna turn off the recording and I'll talk to you all soon.